Hello YouTube, my name is Star from Star Arts Movie and welcome to another exciting tutorial and today we're gonna be talking about how to create a very uh, cool lightning effects like in the Harry Potter uh, movie or prior in Contatum or whatever you want to call so alright just let's get started um, double click on the box over here to import your footage I already got my footage here and then just drag it to the new composition right here and there you go just create a new composition and the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna create the lightning so go to layer new adjustment layer and then I'm gonna right click and rename it to lightning just like so and make sure the lightning is selected and go to effects um, uh, generate not generate absolute maybe lightning alright so you got our lightning so some of my friends been telling me that the best uh, lightning to use is uh, effects generate is advanced lightning but I found it pretty stiff you know Advanced Lightning is actually used for if you want to create some fake uh, lightning, but the real lightning from the sky, because it's kind of stiff, the movement is stiff, just like that, very static. And then the reason why lots of people uh, use this uh, lightning for uh, Harry Potter lightning, lightning effects because the soft glow. But I found a way to create a soft glow in just the uh, lightning effects, not Advanced Lightning, so the effects, um, obsolete lightning. Right, so this is our line and we're gonna set this up. So um, segment seven amplitude, um, not too much, just about there. And detail level, I guess it's, uh, eight detail amplitude, also like that. Branching, we don't need branching, so set the branching to zero and just go down here and make it red because I want it to be um, experimental spells click OK and we're gonna play with the width and also the core width not too big and the width variation um, there alright so we just create a nice looking lightning but this lightning is uh, not look very realistic so we can add some glow so uh, select the lightning go to effect stylized glow but what happened if we add some glow to the lightning it not just add some glow to the lightning but also had some glow to um, the uh, footage so what we're gonna do we're gonna delete the glow first and we're gonna change the adjustment layer to be the solid layer so toggle switch modes if you in this normal and etc to the switch modes until you find it like this and uh, click here to turn off the adjustment layer and create a and uh, turn it to the solid layer but it's white so we're going to turn it to black so go to layer make sure the um, lightning is selected layer solid settings uh, double click in the white here and change to black click OK and click OK and then toggle switch modes again set from normal to add and then we're gonna get to uh, effects uh, stylize and add some glow now it's only just gonna add the glow to the lightning alright so set everything in here uh, make it glowy like this this looks pretty good you can play with the um, core width over here just play around until you find what you desire just like that alright so we, we actually just create a very nice looking um, line thing effects and it's actually pretty easy and without the third party plugins like um, uh, some of the people use uh, particular tribe called particular but it's this the free this free and yeah this should be good anything free is good alright so I think I want to do is create a lens flare well in my um, uh, Harry Potter and Battle of Ages I use optical flares which is third party plugin for videocopilot.net but at this tutorial I'm just gonna be teaching you the free way so just create a new layer, new solid layer, make it black and name it a uh, uh, lens flare 
and OK. And then go to Effects, um, Generate Lens Flare. There you go. And you're going to send this to Add also. And the next thing you want to do is, you're going to want to do is the tricky part. You're going to set the position of the um, lens flare, the flare center, and create a keyframe as it set this um, flare center to follow your tip of the wand. Your wand movement is the boring part actually. I'm just going to pause it until I already finished. Alright guys, so as you can see I already finished. As you can see this uh, lens flare since the uh, keyframe started here. It's already followed the tip of the wand. It's not perfect because I'm just gonna show you how to do that. But yeah, you just gonna make it frame by frame. I did it in like uh, every five frames, so it's not pretty neat. But of course, you're gonna make it neat if you want. All right. So uh, how to also make the um, lightning to follow the tip of the wand? Well, uh, you don't want to uh, do the same thing like the player center over here. Uh, set the position uh, frame per frame. All you gotta do is go to lightning, open it up, to the effect, to the effects lightning, and the start point, which is uh, if you move it, this one over here, you're gonna follow the tip of the one also. So uh, hold Alt and click the keyframe. Uh, uh, the little thingy here looks like a clock here. Hold Alt and click that, and it will show you some like this. Uh, and click the rounded thingy here and click and hold it and drag it to the flare center so what it does is actually um, makes the start point here to follow whatever the flare center go so as you can see here let's follow it just like that at the same position alright so we already finished here uh, next thing we're gonna wanna do is just um, set some transform here the opacity you know so the lightning is appear just in there just because you give some keyframe 100 percent at that position and zero at this position so it will fit in just like so and also the lightning um, open up the transform opacity 100 percent at this position still zero so fit in just boom just like so and also we're gonna edit the um, for the lightning maybe you're gonna want to edit the end point end point is the other point which is this one uh, maybe at this area I'm gonna set the keyframe maybe it's over here so it looks like a you put some thing like so is manually just like that so if you play this it's look really nice that see you you get the idea I can't explain it in English because my, my English is very bad <laughs> I can tell English very much so that's basically about it that's uh, what you're gonna want to do uh, to create a cool uh, Harry Potter lighting effects and for the fake light we're gonna uh, create a layer and use solid, make it red. Just pick the um, color button here, pick a red color, click OK, and set this from normal to add, and maybe add some mask. Just go to and then click and hold it, and choose ellipse tool, and create some small ellipse, just like so, and to the selection tool double click on the uh, mask the yellow one and make it uh, small and the red one which is the solid make it big so that's the way and then you gonna mask feather it up just like so and then the opacity maybe down a little bit whatever you want and again the mask path uh, not the path actually the sorry the transform position also we're gonna make it to follow the um, lens flare so uh, alt click on the position 
again at the something look like a clock here and click and drag it to the um, oops I forgot to open it up open up the effects the flare center later flare center and you will follow the flare center also and just like that right, so the light also for the effect light here I'm just gonna remain it light and just gonna rename it and then the opacity also 100% at this time is still zero so just like that alright so that's the thing that you're gonna wanna do I'm sorry let's see the time fair enough alright I'm gonna create also the how to create a uh, prior incantatum effect so layer new solid make it black and name it prior incantatum or just priory here I'm raising it the time here and go to the right, right side over here, effects and presets. If you don't have this, just go to window, make sure the effect and presets checks, and then you can just type in CC particle word. So it appeared, and click and drag it to the composition, and it's great. And guys, in After Effects CS5, just close this uh, off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, and go to longer CD, and the birth rate set it to about just like so 0.3 producer, let it be. Animation, uh, for CD is already good. The particles, we're gonna set this to white, kinda red. And so we just make it white, and this one red, but not so red, just like pink color. And then, uh, uh, change it from line to maybe fed sphere, and change from normal to add also. And, uh, bird size, we're gonna make it big. But the death side, we're gonna make it zero, just like that. Uh, yeah, this should do. And then go to effects, make sure the priority is selected. Effects, stylized glow, where's glow? There you go, and add some glow, not too bright enough, just like so. There you go, just create a nice looking priority in Kintatum. And for the position again, we're gonna transform, open up the position, we're gonna make it to follow the end point of the lightning the end point this time so just uh, hold alt and click the position and make sure it follow the uh, end point of the lightning and there you go you finished alright guys so that is basically but we want that primary cantatum to appear only when the uh, both of the lightning is uh, mid to its shadow, so just drag it to the uh, consumer indicator here where the both of the lightning of the two ones is connected, you know, or just uh, out begin bracket just like so. And there you go, guys. That's how you create the Harry Potter lightning effects. My name is Tara from Tara Arts Movie. If you find this tutorial useful, please subscribe for another cool tutorials. And by the way, for the next tutorials, I'm gonna be giving you away a free color correction presets. Uh, actually, it's not just color correction presets; it's cinematic look presets. So, uh, I have this um, Freddy Wong's Beast Justice clip here. It's just a regular shot, as you can see and drag some of the color, uh, cinematic looks presents and BAM it looks like a Hollywood blocks, blockbuster movie so you can see the difference here before a regular shot from the camera and this is the after pretty good eh? alright guys so my name is Sir from Terra Arts Movie again if you find this tutorial useful please subscribe for more videos and cool tutorials and I'm kinda sure the, the next tutorial will be very useful because I'm gonna give you a way of free cinematic loops presets alright guys so uh, see you in the next videos and tutorials ciao